Welcome back to Cavan for the second episode of FlaFest. We're here in the town of Ballyconnell on the banks of the Woodford Canal, which is part of the Shannon Erne Waterway. We're in the west of County Cavan, which is part of the Marble Arch Geopark area. We have two videos for you now, which have been submitted to us by Cavan Coltis and Belturba Coltis. First up is Cavan Coltis. You'll see a host of familiar faces, including singer Aoife Murray, Lilter, Seamus Faye, and a host of other well-known performers. Sit back and enjoy. Clotori Aroni and Srinkori O Gok Punya Jindalan. Mariala Shin Vedil Agustas or Grave Balia and Kavan. Agsin you talk Pave on Lodger Agin with Sigia. Call on Pave Lawn the Punya Agus Breaver Agus Bio. Our son our brave, the Suligan Gamanishim Shugalayer, and Sultan Sakhnam, as our Despondish. You're all very welcome to Cavan Town Branch of Coltis Kiltori Erin. On behalf of our branch, we hope you enjoy our presentation or our musical taste of Cavan. We believe it encapsulates the very essence and richness of music, song and dance in Cavantown. Marajer and Shanakal were stadden and told, stadden and Rinke. Enjoy.
was in bloom and the skylark she was singing as I lay there in my room when I awoke next morning and I thought me dream to be through so I told me wife the story that now I tell to you she said I will believe you make for as long as I can see you are far too busy dreaming to have any time for me. Hey girl, we are on to you, can say la 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 Good job, oh I'm gonna serve me clean a JP Hope to play in a dish, my hair be a knock her Gone to my bed, my make sure I'm not making up Hungry, I'm cured, my father Oxymlech, 
Well, some wonderful memories there from Cavan Town Cultus. Well, I've come to the townland of Ballyhue and I'm here with Marion Bradley of the Ballyhue Art and Cultural Centre. Hello, Marion. Hello, Queen. Marion, it is June 21st, summer solstice, a very important date on the Ballyhue calendar. Oh, yes, of course, yeah. Uh, uh, this would have been our 25th uh, bonfire night uh, celebrating the midsummer solstice here at Ballyhue. We are renowned for reviving old customs and traditions here, along with the arts and, and crafts and all of that. But we focused a lot on reviving old Celtic uh, festivals. So, midsummer solstice would, would have been one of them. I remember as a child, bonfire night being a huge event in my life. So, when I opened Ballyhue Culture Centre, I decided one of the customs that I would, 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 would revive would be the the midsummer solstice and around the sum midsummer solstice we would have had the bonfire we would lit the bonfire people would gather here in great numbers from all over the, from different counties arrive here we would uh, play music and dance and light the fire and dance around the bonfire and then we would proceed into the Kalian house where we, we would have a country house dance and we would dance all night <laughs> and celebrate the midsummer solstice in great style and we've been doing it for 25 years unfortunately last year with COVID we couldn't, nobody could gather here, and if, I'm afraid this year we can't do it again. But we, myself and Joe, lit the bonfire, and we have continued the tradition. I don't want to break it. So I'm hoping that, like, you know, the next generation will continue this great festival, uh, Celtic festival. It's an important part. It's rooted in nature and the natural world. And as you look around, you will see that we're very interested in, in nature and the wild and Wild wildlife. Yeah. Because I'm just looking at, you see, even the meadow here in front. Yeah, they're the wildflower meadows, and they're the old meadows, like, and you'll have all sorts of wildflowers native wildflowers so we don't cut those logs so it gives all this the bees and the insects and the butterflies and all sorts of wildfire a chance to survive so we have 75 acres so uh, around us so it's all organic and we encourage as much wild, wild, wildlife as possible yeah. so it's it, we're not just a cultural centre we keep alive a lot of old customs and traditions including the dancing and, and the arts and crafts and that but also we're very much rooted in nature and the natural world and we like to keep alive as, as much as possible in mm. this way. But, but at least with COVID, there's a huge interest now in, in, in nature and the natural world. And people begin to see the benefits in terms of health and well-being. Being in nature is so important. And they've discovered this during COVID. And I hope that trend continues. Thanks a million to Marion Bradley from the Ballyhue Art and Cultural Centre for allowing us to come and visit. We hope their bonfire will be blazing next year and there'll be lots of people here to enjoy it. Next up, Bilterbic Kultus have submitted some of their archive footage. I hope you enjoy.
Sitting down on the streets of the city and built her bed town. Thanks a million for joining us on Fla Fest coming to you from County Cavan. We'll see you again soon.